Hi everyone. On July 13th, the Holy Orthodox Church celebrates the memory of one of the early desert mothers. And we know her as Amma Sara. Now Amma, of course, was the exact opposite of Abba, meaning father in early Semitic languages. And she is regarded as one of the perhaps not completely prominent desert mothers, but she did leave behind a few sayings and we don't really know what her origins were. Now we do know that at an early age, probably in her teens, that she entered the monastic life uh, near the Nile River, which was about a few miles from Alexandria at the time. So it's possible that she actually was a native of Alexandria. And when she entered uh, into monastic life, and early monastic life took all sorts of different forms, uh, some anchorites, some communities, uh, it was really all over the map in terms of its organizational structure. But what we seem to gather from her life, the things that we know about her, is that she did indeed live alone. And like another famous, famous a woman from Alexandria, Mary of Egypt, we also know that for 13 years, Sarah fought with the demon of fornication. This was something that she struggled with greatly, and she never gave up hope, she never gave up love for God, and in fact, when the demon would tempt her, she would say, God, help me. And it seems like he did, because at one point, this particular demon actually appeared to her and said to her, Sarah, you have conquered me. And she said, I have not conquered you, but Jesus Christ has conquered you. So this was something, particularly in the area of Alexandria, we can well believe because of the nature of that city and the international uh, sort of makeup of the people there, that a lot of things would be coming through there that were quite tempting to both men and women. But Sarah never gave up, and in fact, she continued on for the next 60 years in this life. And at the time, she would encounter some other people along the way. She said that she always thought of death every time she mounted the ladder. And what she meant by this is every time she stepped out of her cell to go someplace. And at one point, she even encountered uh, two men who saw her coming, who unfortunately for them, and certainly not of the church, had a very disparaging idea about women. And they said, oh, here comes the mother. Let's humble her. And Sarah, upon hearing this, said, you should be pretty careful about what it is you say, lest you become humbled yourself. And she went on to say that, in fact, I'm the man here and you are women, saying that because they were acting rather childish in their view towards her. But she was someone who struggled and struggled and fought the good fight her entire life, battling unseen forces that we will never really understand or perhaps ever have any uh, knowledge of but she was someone who loved God greatly and went on her way as a woman, as one living alone, which had to be a very difficult thing back then. And as we've all always said, uh, that it was difficult for a woman because sometimes of the attitude of men, particularly those in the populace that surrounded the area, that would criticize and make fun of them. But Sarah held on there and she kept going and finally gave her life to the Lord in 370 AD, after probably around 80 years of existence on this earth. This type of saint is extremely important to us today, uh, not only because they were manifesting the true and genuine Orthodox Christian view of women even though some at the time were not accepting of it, but the church had always proclaimed that, starting with St. Paul. And yet, at the same time, she was someone who was bold in her proclamation of the gospel and would not count herself as secondary to anyone. In fact, someone who criticized 
her efforts at one time because she was a woman said, well, yes, I am a woman, but I'm much more than that. And she was referring to St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians and how we all become new creations in Christ. So for that reason, and because of her, her struggle against fornication, which of course is something that plagues the world today uh, in virtually every outlet that you can find, and it's almost become something that has been considered acceptable and even normal, unfortunately, she stood against it and she showed that it can be defeated. So these remarkable early desert fathers and mothers are people that we should pay very, very close attention to because they saw things in life that no matter the time, no matter the technological advances of a future time, the human person and the struggles of the human person remained the same. By her holy prayers, may all of us come to grasp the true way of the Orthodox faith and to give ourselves in the same way that she did to our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.